So my question is a little bit about who's actually doing the thinking. So whatever we receive, we're a perfect vibrational match to, like you say, and that's how things come and go in our lives. Yeah. And we get what we think about. Yeah. But often we receive things that make us jump up or down the emotional scale, sort of like a burst of surprise, either a pleasure. It's a personal surprise if you're not aware of how you're feeling. If you're in tune with the way you feel, whether it's lovely or less than lovely, if you're in tune with how you've been feeling, your response is, well, that's about right. That's about right or that's about right. It's not a surprise when it comes, if you are aware of how you've been feeling. Mm. I was going to ask, uh, right, keep talking. how would that be a perfect vibrational match? Let's say if, if something happened, like now, actually, no, this was, I was, I think I was close and then it happened, but um, just uh, flying to Amsterdam. Well, it was hard to talk you into coming. So there was a little wobble in there and you witnessed the wobble. In other words, it was all over the place, but we were specific about what we wanted. And that's the thing that we want you to understand is that there's a specific path that you're, this is the statement that we want you to focus on. Your inner being knows where you are in relationship to what you want. Say it again, your inner being knows what you've physically allowed yourself to receive in relationship to what's queued up. Say it in another way, your inner being knows how much of the cooperative components you are like. Your inner being has already gathered all of the cooperative components, but there sometimes is a variance between how cooperative a component you are in any moment in time. And the only way you get better at this is by acknowledging when you're cooperating and when you're not, when you're feeling good and when you're not. In other words, you have to experience it. Words don't teach. It's only the life experience that teaches. Go back to your original premise. So who's thinking the thought? Give us more about what you're reaching for there. Yeah, what I'm reaching for would be, so, so I'd like to talk about positive things. Uh, so of course, when a happy surprise happens, no one's complaining. I'm so happy that uh, I jump. But I guess I'm a bit fearful of, uh, and I lived, uh, I had past experiences where contrast comes. I. I can go looking back I can see I was in a lower vibration but then something even much stronger would hit and that would be let's say a negative surprise but here's the difference now are you likely to get on a negative trend and keep it going or are you catching it and then doing something about it the analogy that we like best to offer is because of Esther's amazement at the hills in San Francisco, being at the top of one of those hills in her car, taking it out of gear, releasing all the braking mechanisms, and getting out behind it, deciding that she's just going to shove it forward and see what will happen. Now, there's a road before her that she can see is going down right into the bay. And let's just see what would happen if I just push my car over the edge a little bit. Well. Your logic would tell you what's going to happen because you understand about gravity and inertia. And so maybe you come to your senses before it gets too much motion. And if right away you realize it and you step out in front of it and it bumps up against you, no big deal. But if you just let it go because you're not paying attention, you wouldn't want to be at the bottom of the hill trying to stop that momentum because you're not going to stop it. It's going to take you with it right into the bay. And that's what you're worried about, but that's illogical worry because you're not going to shove it from the top of the hill. You're not going to do that. You know too much. You're not going to harbor a thought that doesn't feel good and keep it going and keep it going and keep it going and keep it going. And when you wake up in the morning, you say, oh, I feel so good. Now, what was it I was thinking about yesterday that felt so bad? What was that? What was that? Oh yeah, I remember. It's this person or it's this problem. You're too wise for that. You care too much now about how you feel. We don't ever want to give the impression that negative emotion is a bad thing 
or an unwanted thing. We adore the contrast of your time and place because the contrast is what produces your desire and your desire is what summons the energy. That's the basis of all creation. You just want to manage your vibration better. So if you never have a question, you're never going to have an answer. And if you never have a problem, you're not going to have the thrill of a solution. The feeling of becoming moves from being confused to being clear or from being not prosperous to being prosperous or to being hungry and to having a full belly in other words the evolution is where the satisfaction is and your ability to find distinction in the variety that surrounds you is essential to the joy factor and since you came for the joy factor you didn't come for the lethargy not one of you said oh I'll go again I'll go but get it all cleaned up before I get there I just want to get there and observe you would not like that if you had a moment where life was not promoting evolution within you the lethargy of it would suck the life right out of you that's not how you're wired that's not who you are but as humans who are so observant in nature observant of what you see rather than observant with what you feel the most important thing that we can bring to you the most significant thing that you can get from us and know and practice is that the law of attraction is and it's responding to all vibrational outputs and you dear hearts have two vibrational outputs your inner being is vibrationally outputting on your behalf is a powerful point of attraction and you with your conscious mind are too and the emotions that you feel are the variance between what your inner being knows of you and what you are currently knowing of you and so negative emotion is such a wonderful thing oh I'm out of sync you should have seen what went on in this room yesterday in preparation for your gathering all kinds of equipment being put into place and all kinds of calibrations calibrations light calibrations and audio calibrations all kinds of calibrations to make it all poignant just for you you see calibrating isn't that such a wonderful word calibrating and what you're doing you're calibrating the vibrations of your being did you begin by wanting to know who's thinking the thought <laughs> Busted. I, I, I didn't, didn't I? <laughs> well, what we want to say is step one has you doing most of your creating. And step two is us focusing in a way that really brings it home. And step three is you letting it in. And when you let it in, when you begin receiving thoughts, here's the question that we like to ask. This is the piece that will fill in for so many of you that are requesting out there. When a tree falls in the forest, I've heard this before. Hardly anybody knows the answer, but we do. When a tree falls in the forest, if there's no one there to hear it, did it make a sound? Yep. No. Oh. <laughs> it made a vibration. It made a vibration because the physics of the motion, there was a vibration. But if there was not a mechanism that can decipher the vibration into something that a mind can recognize as sound, then there was no sound. There was a vibration, but there has to be a receiver and a translator of the vibration before there is a sound. That's the non-physical laws of the universe correct answer to that question. Don't try to tell others they won't get it, but that is the answer. And so if you've been asking for things and your inner being knows and your inner being is broadcasting this steady signal of what you might do and where you might go for the pleasure of watching and receiving the unfolding of this if you're not in the vibrational vicinity of it then even though the vibration is being broadcast there's really no thought going on let's call thought the point where you tune in and you translate the vibration into something that's meaningful let's call that the thought uh, where's emotion in this uh, sequence then well so emotion is the response to the thought always there's a thought and then there's an emotion and then there's a thought then there's an emotion because the emotion is just the indicator of what you're tuned into but you could be under the influence of CNN and be having one emotion and it could be positive or negative we're not putting them only in the out of the influence of source pile they could be in the other pile too but when you're under the influence of source it is an emotion the emotion is the indicator of the blend of your thoughts
when we said you have two points of attraction your inner beings and whatever you're doing because your inner being is always 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 broadcasting and therefore always 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 causing law of attraction to respond then that means you're always 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 going to feel an emotion with any thought you think and if you think a thought in harmony with this thought you're gonna feel the empowerment of non-resistant thought but if you think a thought not in harmony with that then you're gonna feel the disempowerment which is what negative emotion is of resisted thought does that make sense your guidance system is so straightforward you've just got to give yourself permission to feel and to remember what the feeling is you see sometimes you've been trained into believing that it is virtuous to suffer sometimes people respond to you if you're pitiful then they might help you out a little and so you practice pitiful behavior and pitiful emotions because at least sometimes they'll look at you in that direction because they've been trained in that way and we're not saying don't help anybody that you want to help that isn't our point at all we're just asking you to keep yourself tuned to this energy that creates worlds so that you can help people move in the direction of what they really want rather than sympathize with them when they're moving in opposition to it something more I hear you say focus on the emotion or care about your emotions because it's uh, it sounds like a controlling thought is more difficult well you're making it sound like we want you to work harder than we want you to work we don't say focus on your emotions we say be aware of your emotions be aware of them and make them the most important your emotions matter a lot because they are your indicator about what you're doing you've already done step one and step two your emotions let you know whether you're in the receiving mode or not it feels really good to get a handle on this it feels really good to get your hands in the clay it feels really good to get an idea that feels good and know that it feels good and then follow the impulses of that good feeling thing and then watch the evolution of it there's no chance in any of this you're not just lucking into things things aren't just arbitrarily happening to any of you things are specifically happening specifically in response to the specific vibration that you're specifically offering we just want you to know that you're lazy that was a little blunt we just want you to know that you could do better you could offer your thoughts better and the easiest way to do it is by caring about how you feel Esther walks out of more movies than she stays all the way through because the trailers look happy and then when she gets in there they've tricked her again <laughs> and so when the music turns she says see you later off she goes is there one that she would recommend that she saw recently <laughs> yes we have a movie that we would recommend it's the one that you find when you quiet your mind and allow your vibration to raise It's the specific movie that your inner being will play for you with all of the details of surprise and delight. It's all of the things. Do you know how many ingredients you've put into your vortex? All the things through all of your life experience and even before that are there for you and the exponential, so many that they cannot be counted or a number cannot be accurately given of possibilities and probabilities that will surprise and delight you. Esther said, Abraham, I don't get this surprise and delight thing I get the delight part I get how something could delight me but if I create my own reality how could I be surprised and we say because the combining of the things that you care about can so interestingly be woven together and presented to you that before you know it you will begin to feel like you are the center of the universe and that everything that exists exists for your upliftment and pleasure for the honoring of you for the blessing of you for the acknowledging by you of the worthiness of you when you start getting a whiff of who you are and how you are cared about and how important you are to all of this and you let go of that junk you've picked up along your physical trail where others who have been feeling diminished who have deprived themselves of that connection have clustered together and now they're just talking about who the really baddest ones are when you tap into who you really are then you'll find yourself loving all of them even though some of them are sort of confused about who they are 
And as you start knowing who you are, then you'll start seeing really who they are. And as you see who they are, even when they're not being who they really are, and you see who they are, then they will be who they are because their inner being knows who they really are. Their inner being knows what's in their vortex and your inner being knows their inner being. This magnificent unfolding, Esther calls it, oh, I can feel the magic is happening right now. I can feel that everything is aligned and I'm on my way and I can feel through the power of my joy that I'm doing what I came for. Yeah. 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 No?